This time, our judges are visiting the shortlist from Grampian and the Central Highlands. And they're starting off with a rural church conversion west of Muir of Ord. This church was designed by renowned 19th century engineer and architect Thomas Telford. It has now been renovated into a contemporary Highland home for John, his Canadian wife Christina and their pets. I'm the sort of cold calculating what's the money, what's the time, how does it happen? I'm not. No. I'm the other. <laughs> There was nothing here. There was no electricity, there was no water. Essentially, was there was there. no roof. We had to replace the whole thing. We didn't want to take anything away from the windows so we don't have a massive amount of artwork because we kept thinking, mm, if we hung something there, your eye's gonna go there, not to your picture out there kind of thing. The colors, I think we've always been a neutral couple, mm. but all of a sudden, we found yellow. And that's just, eh? It's true. Yeah. This spacious home has two bedrooms, each with an ensuite, open plan living, a mezzanine study, and a wraparound garden. This is our favourite spot because it's the point at which we can see the outside coming to the inside. And it's really important to us, especially our dogs. The judges must now assess the home armed with only the basic facts about the property and its owners. Uh, I thought we came here to see a house. <laughs> I think from here you can kind of see through the windows and see kitchen, I think. Mm -hmm. it's about Love the, other the side. two sets of crisp, beautiful, handmade wooden doors. Yeah, isn't it interesting how they're so much lower than the windows? I really love the little bell tower, isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. is, that the, is that the doorbell? <laughs> I'm assuming that is the doorbell. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, Ooh, you found it, you ring it. Yeah, do I get to? <laughs> <gasps> that is okay. a great doorbell. Oh, look, the pew, look. Oh, that's compulsory, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look, getting kind of vertigo looking yeah. up. <laughs> I was half expecting us to just walk straight in to the, yeah. to the whole space, but they're holding on to the drama a wee bit. Big it's moment. nice that we've walked into this entry, which is a bit more cosy, isn't it? And we've seen some nods to the church as well with the pew. Mm -hmm. And the bell, and of the course. Bell. My favourite thing so far. We're going to have a bell. It's huge. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's even bigger than I expected. Ooh, this is fun. I'm curious about where this stair is going to take me. We'll see you in a minute. OK, oh, yeah. right, straight upstairs. Let's head down here, then. No mucking about, eh? <laughs> Hello. What's it like from up there, Michael? Oh, it's heaven up here, actually. This is a wee, a wee study. The, the light that you saw is right here. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, so it's right there. Good viewing spot. Yeah. Still got quite ecclesiastical acoustics, hasn't it? Eh? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's very echoey from down here. Could come you... downstairs so that we can have <laughs> a chat. Come, give us hand signals down the stairs. I you, so. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say I love the dark wood against the, all the white in here. It's so crisp. The contrast is just amazing. Oh, look. Standing here, got a bit of a kind of um, biblical reference there with the oh, yeah. crucifix <laughs> with the chimney for the wood burner. What I like about some of the things they've done, they continue to make the roof interest. There's quite interesting sort of geometric shapes happening up here, which I actually find, if you didn't have that, it might be a bit of a less interesting thing to see. I'm noticing so much pops of colour from the mustard. There's a lot of textures. The kind of dark wood mustard theme is, is coming through a lot. Yeah, this is quite textured. Mm. It's the objects that they put in the space and then the sort of origami folded roof. Mm. I see the heart. I think it's just, you can stare at the window, is that it? Yeah. yeah. I love, it's this thing about buildings of this period. We don't build and we can stand in the window. Yeah. It makes you look small. I know, it looks <laughs> tiny. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> look at Michael. Entry. I like that they decided that this was a better view over that one. <laughs> this window was a, <laughs> yeah, a decision one. was made. Do you, think, do you think this one is crucially different? Yeah. 
So you've got your ye oldie insulation with the big thick walls, <laughs> and then we've got 21st century insulation with those windows. Which began in the 1970s, as far as I can remember. <laughs> I wasn't even born in the 70s, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> no, unlucky you.